We're two episodes away from, I think, finishing the season. And I don't think we're going to go into a new arc or anything like that. I don't think it really makes sense. Are they just going to do just happy, fun, <laughs> slice of life moments? A little bit of yaoi bay here and there. And then just end the season with some kind of setup for arc, whatever it's covering season two. I don't know, but hey, let's check out today's episode. Bro was in the fight? ウケ入れるためにはそれができるやつだし。受け入れたいとも思ってるように見える。俺は何よ。おはようございます、桜さん。桜さん。ちょっとプロスですライクワーキング、ティンキングアウメミアンゲティングホーニー。ちょっとファ
This guy's pretty interesting to too, right? This guy has Glizzy for uh, his phone case. Got a hot dog there, bro. But uh, that guy in the pink, you know, pink hair with like a piercing, he seems pretty interesting, huh? I'm a pass. Muscle power. This is his favorite restaurant. Wrestling. Bald. I'm gonna guess this guy's fighting style is wrestling. Cool, cool. Thanks for getting to sub, Thor. <laughs> you like eating? Yes. Eating is my virtue? Thanks for the other gifted sub, man. Appreciate that, Thor. <laughs> Fight it out and you can learn my virtue through my fists. That's right. Thanks for a gift to sub, man. Oh shit, he has a girlfriend. The other guy, the other NPCs before when they're like, you want to hang out? And he's like, nah, I got a dentist appointment. No, I got a girlfriend. It's like, you don't have a girlfriend. This guy actually does have a girlfriend. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Hot Dog phone case person. <laughs> Kiryu is his name. Sakura just saw. Sakura saw this and got so fucking jealous. How dare he have a girlfriend? Actually, this is a gay ass show. Maybe he's upset that Kiryu has a girlfriend and that Sakura was like, I want to hold your hand instead. No, that's not, that's, that's not what's going on. But like, one could make a joke like that because of how gay this show is. <laughs> he's very soft spoken, huh? Yeah, he's pretty ripped. I don't know, pink hair guy just seems extremely soft-spoken. Even the way he like presents himself, even the jacket, you know how it's like barely hanging on and it's the shoulders. Like a lot of like Gyaru girls, right? All those like um uh, heavy makeup, you know, very casual, delink not delinquent, but like gals. They kind of behave like that too. So he kind of is like a guy version of that, huh? Ooh, we're in top five. Strong enough to have a girlfriend, bro. Okay, rich kid school. Damn, all right. He just wants to know about how he has a girlfriend. I think that's the only thing he cares about right now. Bro, he's behind you. Just ask him. Just ask him, bro. Yeah, I can see that. Different school girl. He is. Yeah, Kitty was literally right behind us. How crazy is this that we're literally talking about his private life, all the details, like yelling it even when he's literally right behind us. He can hear fucking everything. <laughs> Muscle guy is uh, very straightforward, huh? Not afraid to do anything. What did he just say? What did Sakura say? Sakura said he wants to know more about you, Kiryu. Yeah, more than that girl wants to know about Kiryu, bro. Oh, don't say that! Yeah, we did. Not really. You can chat. But like, he heard that we were going somewhere and then Kiryu showed up. Was that a coincidence? I don't think so. I think he's intentionally doing this. Is he not? Because like, he heard, you know, Muscles and everyone else try to like, Gather everyone and go to his favorite restaurant. Kiryu heard that, then started moving. So, like, I feel like this is intentional. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. What's your virtue? Getting pussy? Yo! I think Kiryu has all the rights to do this. Like, if you actually think about it, like, this dude is just here trying to have a date. Then again, he did show up as soon as we said we're going to this restaurant. And that guy, like, shows up and is being all, like, pushy-pushy like that. Like, I feel like, 
Listen, I know Mr. Muscles has no ill intentions, but you're kind of like invading like privacy boundaries. Like, bro, leave us alone. You're kind of overbearing, man. No, I don't give a fuck. That's my virtue. I don't give a fuck what anyone thinks. You can think whatever you want. I'm just going to be in your face because I'm Mr. Muscles. By the way, banana protein shake. <gasps> Yo, he's looking like a villain right now. The, the girl is scared. Yo, oh, I didn't even think about that. I don't think he wants to be popular with girls. I think he wants to be popular with the guys. Very honest and straightforward. Interesting. Was that all calculated? I'm not sure. If I was the owner of this restaurant, I'd be like, what the fuck? You just lost me two clients. You better fucking pay up for what they were going to order. Oh, is a fight outside immediately? Oh, he saved her from like a gang fight? ここがこいつに絡まれてるところに通りかかっただけで no, rule number one, provoke the enemy. Make them get mad. Suo already taken the girl. Orange and pink, show me. How strong are we? Oh, really, bro? Can he not fight? Is he all just muscles? No. No. Is he really, like, not a fighter, just all muscles? Tank? Okay, dude! Oh. <laughs> I decided that the opponent is gonna get the first hit. I intentionally took that hit. Oh, okay? Okay? Wrestling moves! Super! Oh, okay! If you do. Oh, okay! This will kill him, man! In concrete, you suplex a dude head first. He is paralyzed, waist down. Dude is actually dead. You throw somebody on concrete, it's on, it's over. Wrestling moves, honestly. So he does obviously do you know, wrestling inspired moves. So he's like a grappler. Grappling, I think, is one of the strongest, most efficient, effective ways in street fighting. So far, everyone is kind of you know doing fucking. Fancy ass martial arts striking kicks here and that, but like you get tossed once in a real fucking fight, you're done. That kid's actually dead. My virtue is letting, you know, show up in the limelight and then stealing it. I let the opponent shine. I make them look good and I step into the limelight. Kind of like wrestling. That's exactly what the wrestling kind of is too, right? It's a whole show of like, oh, you know, is our main character in the script gonna win? Oh no, the antagonist is winning. And then... The main character comes back and then wins. <laughs> is that another fucking reference to wrestlers? Because, like, a lot of people, like, that does wrestling, especially back in the day, like, so many of them get crazy as concussions and, like, their mental gets all fucked up. Well, isn't there a guy in, like, Chris Benoit? I'm not sure if you guys know of, like, past WWE drama, but a lot of dudes that constantly got concussions due to bad safety regulations they got brain damage to the point where they started acting in really incredibly dangerous ways because of the brain damage and ended up like killing his entire family and himself yeah there's some really fucked up shit that happened double kill oh he's palm strike <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. 
<laughs> the, the impact. Okay. Oh, what kind of fucking Chinese martial arts is this right now, bro? Bro's doing fucking palm strikes, internal damage. You can see this shit. <laughs> That was kind of sick. That, that was kind of sick. Oh, really? No look block. Kid, you getting pretty hyped up. <laughs> so it's sick, bro. Sakura? One in doubt, Sakura jumping kick. Move out of the way. No, no, no. Ah, okay. All right, all right. So like, they intentionally hid these characters for the Shishi Toren arc. I thought that like, who really was like the main fighters in the Shishi Toren arc, right? Obviously, Umemiya and you know one of the big boys, right? Uh, what was his fucking name? The his name was like the Warlord or something. The title, you know, the fucking Heartburn guy. Those two obviously was the same But the first years that came with us was Sakura, Suo, Mad Dog. And then Nire. Nire didn't fucking fight. So we have three main highlights so far. Sakura, uh, Suo, and Mad Dog. Now we have two extra. We have Kiryu and Orange Guy. So we have like top five first years. That's looking like the most strongest out of our entire, I guess, year. Huh? Wonder how they would have done in the Shishi Toren arc. Yeah. Both footing first years, man. Yeah. <laughs> No one's even trying. The motto? Something about like, don't fuck with their community or we'll fuck you up or something. I forget, there was like a sign in like episode one, remember? What was it? Yeah, this is the one, this is the one. It was on the, it was on the sign. All these kids have concussions, CTs. Please call the ambulance. They can't hear you right now, bro. Call the fucking ambulance. They're gonna fucking die. Yeah, it's a signature line. Thank you, random NPCs. Oh, they're all actually okay. They're actually okay running away. Aren't we cool, girl? He's so fucking... <laughs> it's just a contrast of how edgy he is in battle of like <laughs> you think you're strong how dare you think you're strong i pity those who think they're strong but are actually weak only strength is that matters and then suddenly see one girl it's like oh! <laughs> bye bye he is really strong. Great captain! Okay, okay. So we have like great captain selection exam. Some kind of like who's gonna be the captain of the first years. Is that what's going on? Will they do this within these two episodes? <laughs> Because he's tsundere as fuck. Yeah, we have the contact, uh, weather. Surprise, it's not like random ass, you know, numbers. It's like the pizza guy, mom or dad, and just like random spam numbers. He really got friends. <laughs> he's looking at the number he got. <laughs> Bro got so happy. He was so fucking happy that he got a number. He's like, oh, first friend number. Should I text? Should I text him? <laughs> we should get her number. Oh, look, look at the numbers. Haruka Sakura, that's us, obviously. Friends open chance. You got groups ones. Friends four. We have Kiryu. We have Suge. We have Suo and we have Nire, basically the four that was just with us. Kotoa, can you give us your number? Don't let Umemiya know. Don't let Umemiya know. Oh, we're, we're the group chat, guys. Wow, footing one one, five people in the chat. <laughs> 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 
so that you don't have to talk to them in person. <laughs> okay, did it. So, all of you were so awesome yesterday. By the way, you're still not picking our great captain yet. Sakura has to be great captain. Sakura. There is no one else. Umemiya is literally grooming Sakura to be like the number one right now. The number one at the school acknowledges him to be the next successor. There's, there's, there's no way Sakura ain't gonna be the captain. God, he's such a fucking boomer texter. <laughs> he's such a fucking boomer texter. He can't. He's like, <laughs> oh shit, more messages are passing through. Captain of a grade, of course. By the way, um, Shishitoren is not a school. We know that. It's a gang and they hang out. They don't go to school there. That's just a gang. Bofurin is actually different. Bofurin, yes, we are a group called Bofurin, but this is Furin High School. Do the teachers exist? I've never seen a single... Has a, has a teacher shown up in the early episodes? I can't remember. Like, they're, they're always in class like this. But I don't, like, I think this is just a place to fucking hang out when their parents go to work and they have, they don't want to stay at home. So they put the uniforms on and they come to school. But, like, there is no classroom. There is no education. There's fucking nothing going on here, bro. They just hang out here, bro. It's like fucking Beyblade, bro. All these fucking 12 to 15 year old kids are fucking vagabonds wandering the world. They didn't go to school. All of them are fucking homeless kids just traveling the world. <laughs> Grade captain and secondary captains from Tamon team's second year. So this is second years. Okay, okay. This, hmm. I mean, he got the like the stereotypical pompadour. I don't know. I just look. It, he doesn't look that important, but he's the ca team captain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mushroom head. Oh, that was that was headphones looking at Sakura like oh he's clearly not into it but he's gonna be the captain. Great captain is the class coordinator and covers everyone's brain. <laughs> he is rolling these R's like there's no tomorrow. You know like uh, all the isekais we're watching there's like cat girls and they'll say like oh hold up Nia oh that's so ni nice of Mew you know cat puns. Bro's fucking doing rollings like those cat puns, bro. More rolls. I nominate Sakura. Sakura! Sakura! I nominate Sakura. Not Nire. Not Nire. Fuck you, Nire. Of course. Of course he's gonna be. And that is the episode. Today's episode was pretty interesting, and I had. I, I thought the last two episodes of the season is just kind of be like filler shade or something to kind of lead into the next arc. But this is pretty interesting because there is two more first year characters that we had no idea about. Kiryu and Suke. We kind of saw them in like the first couple episodes before the whole Shishitoren arc happened. But they're looking to be extremely strong and it's looking like we have our top five of first years, right? It's basically Suo... Suge, right? Um, Kiryu, Sakura, and then uh, Shishi. Fuck, I always forget his name. It's because his name sounds like Shishito, and I don't fucking know his name. It's like Shige, Shigeto, Mad Dog. I just call him fucking Mad Dog. Those are the top five in our first years. Just basically look at the five people in the group chat, replace Nide with Mad Dog, and that's pretty much it. Honestly, I vote Nide to be kicked out and bring in Sugishita, bro. He's way better. But other than that, it's just like setting up for the great captain to see who's going to be the leader. I think Sakura is always going to be the great leader, obviously, uh, the great captain, right? Because everyone seems to see hope and even like the second years is like, yo, that's that Sakura, right? And Umemiya himself has been positioning Sakura to be in that leadership position. So he's going to be great captain. And then next episode, we got the finale. I don't know. Maybe we'll have like a cool fight to wrap up the season and then hopefully season two announcement. But that's it for me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video, check out the other playlists for more content, and until next time, take care.